uh, New England firearms, 20 gauge, single shot, like break action shotgun. Um, I have ensured that the firearm is free of ammunition. There's no ammunition in my area. So uh, right now I will do the uh, field strip of the firearm and I'll come back in just a minute. Okay, so here is the firearm field strip to its, its basic, uh, say basic parts. <clears throat> um, the course information says according to the manufacturer, but the manufacturer does not list the field strip procedure in the manual. So uh, this field strip is based on our course text uh, in how to field strip a brick action shotgun. So uh, when I come back, I'll have it completely disassembled. So here is the firearm completely disassembled. Most of my small parts, springs and screws that I don't want to lose, pins are in that tray right there. Um, the uh, receiver totally empty of parts, including the pivot pin for the barrel itself right there. Um, one thing I noticed while I was taking this apart and inspecting is the sear surface on the hammer has a chip in it, but when I look, I see how high up, let me get that to focus, I, when I look, I see how high up the sear contacts um, that hammer. I'm not as concerned with it. It functions perfectly fine, so I don't think I'm worried about that. Uh, in my disassembly materials that I use, the, uh, it was the uh, shotgun assembly disassembly uh, book that we got in one of our other classes. It doesn't show the transfer bar assembly in there, um, so I kind of had to study that a little bit, but the latch block here, um, of course, is in there, but this piece, the transfer bar, is not part of that disassembly, and then this piece right here, which is um, part of the trigger that holds this bar up when the trigger is pulled all the way back, um, something like that, but if you have the trigger pull all the way back this bar rides up and holds that transfer bar where it will contact the firing pin um, if you hold the hammer pull the trigger and then let off the trigger this bar actually slides down because the trigger rotates uh, forward again and pulls the bar down so when the hammer comes forward the, this is actually what hits the hits the firing pin not the hammer but this pulls out of the way so when the firing pin comes forward, it does not, uh, or when the hammer comes forward, it does not hit the firing pin. The hardest part of disassembly is getting all this stuff here to mesh just right, because if this isn't on the right tooth on this, the whole thing doesn't work. So, and all that has to happen down inside of there. So that makes it a little Tools fun. Tools used, uh, these three brass punches were primarily what I needed. Uh, 5 16th, 3 16th, and 1 8th. Uh, I have a set of long nose pliers that uh, help quite a bit. Um, this usually, this was, I mean, this was only meant really for taking off the four stock. Uh, this little driver I use for the little Phillips screws that hold this piece onto the four stock and holds the butt plate on. Uh, and of course, my brass hammer, uh, which I used. Um, because I just really don't want to tear anything up. Uh, the soft face, when I drive the pins back in, I'll use that so that I don't tear anything up. There's one pin, this one here, for the latch block release lever that I have to uh, get a punch out to get it to drive down evenly. Other than that, it's all pretty simple. So, there it is. When I come back, uh, it will all be put back together again. So here is the shotgun, totally assembled, back together again, again, showing that it is clear of ammunition. Um, what I didn't talk about uh, whenever I was talking about my tools was my block that I made here. Basically I just drilled a hole in a 2x4 uh, to drive pins through, and then I also didn't talk about my hooks that I use, I you know, need this, some, uh, one of these, would, any of them probably would have worked to get the, uh, there, to get the uh, hammer 
uh, hammer the firing pin spring out. Um, so one thing, as I went through this, I've had this shotgun for many years. Uh, I got it when I was probably about eight. So try, I, I suck at head math. So probably about 30, over 30 years I've had this shotgun. Um, it has been used for everything from skeet to deer hunting with slugs to uh, duck hunting, all kinds of different things. So it's had a lot of use. Um, I found that spot on the hammer where the, the sear um, contacts that I wasn't very keen on, but everything seemed to be working fine, so I, I kind of left it alone. Well, after I put it together, I cocked it and uh, took my little soft mallet and kind of tapped around in a few places and suddenly the hammer fell so I pulled the uh, trigger back out and took a look at this at the hammer and that spot where it had that little booger on it it broke off so you know good to know now that I've done all this I know that I need a, a hammer and a trigger a little piece of the trigger uh, sear surface broke off as well so I've ordered that uh, for now this thing is not usable and I'm kind of glad that we did all this because, and there it went, because it helped me find a uh, potentially unsafe condition in my shotgun. Um, so anyway, parts on the way. So uh, that is my video, and thank you very much.